morning YouTubers it's George I'm in the workshop and um, I'm doing some work making things and uh, I've got to thank VK3YE Radio Ham for this idea now I'm from time to time I have some long wave medium wave radios to fix and the problem is with the lack of stations on the air it's difficult to do some you know some calibration or any work at all to do with make sure they're working and uh, so this circuit is a small transmitter here the circuit came from I don't know where it came from originally but the circuit I looked up was from VK3YE on YouTube and I'll just go through the circuit um, it's it's not easy to do in this light I don't know if it's any better try that there yeah and um, it's a very very simple basic circuit it starts off with two transistor and ends up at three transistor and um, I've modified it slightly and um, it really gives FM modulation but I'll go through it what you've got is a condenser little electric microphone there with resistor that powers it god the lighting is awful isn't it uh, let's get a bit of what can, can i do it with this right so sorry about this it's not very good lighting in this garage so you've got the electric microphone there uh, you've got the, the bias resistor for it and then you've got a small single transistor uh, audio amplifier there which is a 2SC945 transistor it then goes the audio from that goes through a capacitor to the mixer oscillator you could say there and this is the choke and these are the tuning capacitors and then it goes to a final output power transistor which is a 2N treble 2 2N2222A transistor I've got in there and there's the output coil and this is the output capacitor and uh, when you speak into the microphone it varies the voltage on the uh, transistor over here and it gives a frequency shift now because the board can be a bit unstable you know unless it's on proper board and uh, I've made it on this strip board or what I used to call Vero board this sort of stuff and uh, unused tracks I should connect to earth I've not done that yet but what I've done is to stop RF getting back into the first stage I found I've got some of these little choke toroids and um, I think they're 4.7 micro they are only small value but as I've got them I put one in the power line so the power line comes in and it goes through the cord through this choke thing here and whatever now so I built it on strip board because that's all I had I hadn't got any um, drawing pins his design used drawing pins and then he could easily alter it done that now the intention is what I'm going to do different is I'm going to try and have it amplitude modulated as well so I've got here this is an audio transformer uh, which I had lying around brand new and um, so it gives isolation from input to output so the output side of this is going to go across the emitter resistors of the final output stage transistor which is there and then this board again I had left over from other projects never used it it's an LM386 audio amplifier it's got a volume control there it's got audio in and that and then this is the power feed so the idea is as well as having the microphone here which can ampli amplify the audio through that transistor and it will slightly shift 
the oscillator to give FM modulation and if I put audio in here I'm hoping it will vary the emitter current and voltage through the final PA transistor here so it will give amplitude modulation as well as um, frequency modulation and uh, I'm going to build it in a metal box when I get one I uh, need to re-solder this wire as it's a negative one the actual power feed will come in this end not this end so that will be in a different position so that's it that's a project I've got ongoing to do with that and thank I can't remember the guy's name so apologies if you watch my video and then the other thing I've, I've done is I've got some boards here not related to this project but these are batteries that have been reclaimed from vapes and they are rechargeable and the idea is I'm going to use it for powering some other projects so this board uh, gives some USB-C to a charging circuit to charge these batteries it's got two charge indicator LEDs there and it also gives battery protection so it's not overcharged and when it's discharged it disconnects the load um, if it's um, too low the voltage so that's a little and these boards are about 30 pence if that and you can buy them in bulk from eBay so I've got a whole load of those yeah it's the same the disposable vapes they are disposable but the batteries in them if you can catch them right when people throw them away you can recharge the batteries and that will get built for other circuits uh, so thanks for watching please subscribe and like and please look out for VK3YE on YouTube and I think he's also published some books you can purchase on to do with basic transmitter circuits and things like that so once again thank you for watching please subscribe and like